The orbits are bilateral bony cavities in the facial skeleton that house the eyes with their supportive structures. The orbit resemble hollow quadrangular pyramid with its base directed anterolaterally and its apex posteromedially. The axes of both orbits diverge at approximately 45 degrees. The quadrangular pyramidal orbit has a base, four walls and an apex. The base of the orbit is outlined by an uh, orbital margin which surrounds the orbital opening. The orbital margin is formed above by the frontal bone, laterally by the processes of the frontal and zygomatic bones, below by the zygomatic bone and the maxilla, and medially by the processes of the maxilla and the frontal bone. The superior wall of the orbit is approximately horizontal and is formed mainly by the orbital part of the frontal bone, which separates the orbital cavity from the anterior cranial fossa. Near the apex of the orbit, the superior wall is formed by the laser wing of the sphenoid. Anterolaterally, there is a shallow depression called the lacrimal fossa, which accommodates the lacrimal gland. Now look to the middle wall of the orbit, which is formed by the orbital plate of ethmoid bone, along with contribution from the frontal process of the maxilla, lacrimal and sphenoid bones. Anteriorly, the medial wall features the lacrimal groove and fossa for lacrimal sac, the trochlea pulley for the tendon of one of the extraocular muscles is located just above it. The inferior wall of the orbit or orbital floor is formed mainly by the maxilla and partly by the zygomatic and palatine bones. It is uh, shared by the orbit and maxillary sinus, which occupies the space inside the maxilla. The inferior wall is demarcated from the lateral wall of the orbit by the inferior orbital fissure. You can find it here. The lateral wall is formed by the frontal process of the zygomatic bone and the greater wing of the sphenoid. This is the strongest and thickest wall, which is important because it is most exposed to direct trauma. Its posterior part separates the orbit from the temporal and middle cranial fossa. The apex of the orbit uh, is um, at the optic canal in the leather wing of the sphenoid, just medial to the superior orbital fissure. Here it is. Now let's review all openings into the orbital cavity with their contents. First of all, the orbital opening is the inlet to the orbital cavity, uh, bounded by the orbital margin. Uh, about one-sixth of the eye is exposed here. Uh, next is supraorbital notch, or foramen sometimes. Um, it is situated on the superior orbital margin and transmits the supraorbital neural and blood vessels. Infraorbital groove and canal are situated on the floor of the orbit. They transmit the infraorbital nerve, a continuation of the maxillary nerve and blood vessels. Next one is the nasolacrimal canal. It is located anteriorly in the middle wall. It communicates with the inferior meatus of the nose and transmits the nasolacrimal duct. Inferior orbital fissure is located posteriorly between the maxilla and the greater wing of the sphenoid. It communicates with the pterygopalatine fossa and transmits the zygomatic branch of the maxillary nerve, the inferior ophthalmic vein and sympathetic nerves. Superior orbital fissure is located posteriorly between the greater and lesser wings of the sphenoid. It communicates with the middle cranial fossa and transmits the lacrimal nerve, the frontal nerve, the trochlear nerve, the ocular motor nerve, uh, the adducent nerve, the nasociliary nerve, and the superior ophthalmic vein. Optic canal lies in the apex of the orbit. It, <clears throat> it communicates with the middle cranial fossa and transmits the optic nerve and the ophthalmic artery.